Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nazak Bashia back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how jobless claims hit an all-time low, and we're also going to be talking about how this will impact the future of the pandemic and the future of the stock market. So before we begin, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor, and we should always do your own due diligence and research should reporting burn any investment scheme. So before then, before we get started, really, I'm just going to give like a brief introduction of what all has happened. Basically, what happened today is that stocks gained today as investors awaited more and more labor data, which will serve as crucial information in determining the path forward for the monetary policies underpinning the risk assets over the past year. So ahead of a key monthly report on job gains, a new print on weekly unemployment claims came in lower than expected, underscoring the future and the further improvements in the economic recovery. The S&P advanced to an all-time high, and the Nasdaq also gained to, to set a fresh economic recovery record. And the S&P 500 also did outstandingly well well, sorry, I mentioned that. The index's latest March to record highs has been powered by technology stocks, with the Nasdaq extending a run of outperformance from August. This, this has in turn sign signaled investors' concerns over the status of the economic recovery, given the Delta variant spread, with growth in technology stocks seen as more of a defensive trade amid a coronavirus resurgence. For cyclical stocks like energy and travel shares to keep pace, we have to see a rollover in COVID case counts, I feel. We've seen that in some states that seem to be leading the trends and some countries as well, but I think we're really dependent on case count, counts coming down and renewed confidence that we're reopening and travel and service sector continuing to show growth. So I'm sorry, I'm just, if you think I'm reading, I'm just looking at my notes. And I'll actually I'll just share articles with you guys to support this because I am the article lady. So pan pandemic crash followed by boom. So see, you, you see the crash in the Feb 19, about 2020 March. And after that, we just keep rising higher and higher with the Nasdaq going the highest of all of them. And new economic data on Wednesday appear to vindicate markets participants concerns over slowing recovery. ADP's closely watched monthly payrolls report just 374,000 private payrolls returned in August, sharply missing estimates for 625,000. Okay, so jobless claims totaled 340,000, lowest level since the early days of pandemic. Initial filings for unemployment insurance fell last week to the lowest level since March 2020, another sign that the labor market is recovering from the COVID-19 era. First time jobless claims totaled 340,000 for the week ended August 28th, compared with the 345,000 estimate. The jobless claims data comes one day ahead of the Labor Department's all important monthly jobs report, which will show how many jobs US employers added in August, which that I really look forward to. And this will that will also determine the future of the stock market, whether it will go down or up and the economy, how is it recovering? We'll be able to see that. And we'll be able to see how fast, how fast we can improve and how fast we can recover from that. So jobless claims dropped by 14,000 and the weekly count has mostly fallen steadily since topping 900,000 900, in early January. Vaccinations for COVID-19 have been supporting the job market by encouraging businesses to reopen or expand hours and consumers to return to, a res to restaurants, bars, and shops. In response, employers across the country have been boosting hiring to meet a surge in consumer demand. Still, a resurgence of cases tied to the highly contagious Delta variant has clouded the economic outlook. So the Nasdaq has, is up about 32, 32 points today. The Dow Jones is up 65.53 points today. S&P is up 15.22 points today. Russell 2000 is up 12.08 today. And NYSE ARCA oil index is up by 24.69 points. So all in all, we've had massive growth today. And 
I'm really happy about it. And I look forward to see the job claims tomorrow. And this will help us know how we can recover faster and how fast we are actually recovering. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and found this information helpful. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it to the end of this video, if you're one of those lovely, beautiful people, that's also your key to subscribe and please comment Powerpuff in the comments below. Thank you guys and see you in the next video. Bye.